Talking Planning presents Bus Week 3. Hello and welcome to Day 5 of Bus Week 3 and Merry Busmas. So today is Christmas Day and I'd like to say a Merry Christmas to everyone out there who's been following this channel. I hope you have a great day and enjoy time with friends and family and hopefully the dad jokes start to go away pretty soon. Let's recap what we've caught so far. Firstly, a Mills Tui bodied Mercedes OH 1830 coach, a Bus Tech MDI, a Volvo B59 with a Domino Hedges body, and a Mercedes 0500 LE with Volgren Optimus coachwork. And today, the final bus from Bus Week 3 was quite a difficult one to catch. After travelling around the Tweed without a car, I made my way to Moorland Bar to catch this bus, number 44 a Volvo B7 RLE with a PND Coachworks body. Let's have a quick listen to it now before the loudmouth COVID conspiracy theorists managed to drown out an already loud bus engine. Today was a rather wet old day, and the outlook was more grey than usual, but it was still quite pleasant as it made the greenery really pop. So you can tell that PND Coachworks predominantly builds school buses rather than city buses, although there are a few of their route buses operating around the country with smaller companies. Instead of aluminium and plastic panels on the roof to house the air convents, they're carpeted like you often get on coaches. Likewise, the rear panel is finished with the same treatment. You just don't see this normally on a city bus. The seats are trimmed in a velour trim with a blue base colour and tessellated and circle patterns breaking it up. Hardly exciting, but at least the seats are fairly comfortable. Stop bells are located throughout the vehicle on silver poles and there is a teeny tiny stop bell indicator light at the front. Leaving the centre of Moorwoolen Bar on a 621A, there's a nice view out the window of a range of older style bungalow properties which are likely built in the late 1800s or perhaps up until the 1920s. Sadly, the window line on these buses doesn't give you a great view out as the aperture of those windows is pretty narrow. But still, we can admire the view as we make our way out of town and along towards Kyogle Road. So I only went for a really short trip today because I have to walk back into town. So I'm going to be jumping off here and covering off on the rest of my experience on the walk back. So I'm making my way back into Mwoolam Bar after just jumping off the bus probably two or three k's up the road. Um, it was a nice little bus, just a couple of things I need to point out. Sorry I couldn't give you any actual engine audio. There are a large number of COVID conspiracy theorists on board who were able to be louder than a big Volvo diesel engine, which is impressive by the way. I just didn't feel that I needed to share said conversations. The other thing is they're not entirely receptive to just jumping on and going for a bit of a ride around town. So I kind of had to say I was going part way and walk back. So just keep that in mind, particularly at the moment, that what I'm very used to being able to do as a traveller isn't available everywhere you go. But apart from that, fairly pleasant vehicle. Just maybe be nice to jump on board without all the COVID conspiracy theorists. So this brings us to the end of Bus Week 3, and I'd like to wish you a very merry busmas and a happy new gear. See what I did there? Anyway, I'd like to say, 
a big, very Merry Christmas to all of you out there. I hope you have a great time with your friends and family. And whatever 2021 brings, I'm keen to show you what's happening. And I'd like to say thank you so much for joining me with this Bus Week series and on Talking Planning. And I will see you again soon.